Hey guys, my name is Mitch. This channel is We in Tennessee. Long story short, my family and I are in the process of moving from California to Tennessee. Well, that's the plan. We'll see if everything falls into place. So today the video is going to be for those of you that are going to be considering moving to Tennessee and you're a teacher because I'm a teacher. Today, what I'm going to do is show you the process of how I got my Tennessee teaching license. So I already have a California teaching license. Today's video, I'm going to show you how did I get the Tennessee license. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get an account on TN Compass, Tennessee Compass. The link is right here in the description, if you check the description. And what I'm going to do today is roughly show you exactly what I did. Um, I can't take you through every single step, but it was a whole lot easier than I thought it was. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is in California, my teacher credential was good for K to 6. Now in Tennessee, that same license would be good from K to 5. And I hope I say this word right. This has to do with reciprocity. And what that basically is, in simple terms, is the states would agree to accept a teaching license from another state. They're basically saying, we have a mutual agreement that if this teacher has a license in this state, we're going to honor that same license in our state. And so I'm hoping that your state and Tennessee align with that reciprocity. So here's what happens when you have that agreement is hopefully in your case, the transition of getting your Tennessee license will be a whole lot smoother than if you were just starting out. Since you already have your license, the again, reciprocity, hopefully it would be a lot smoother. So today what I'm gonna do is show you just a few simple things I had to do to get my Tennessee license. Okay, so the number one thing that I was very confused about when I went to the TN Compass website, and hopefully this clears it up for you, and hopefully our scenarios match, but what I had to do is figure out what kind of license did I want. So just to make it clear, I tried to get a professional six year. So the professional means it's a certificated license and the six years means that's how long I will have this license good for. And so in six years, I will have to renew it and I will have to have so many professional development points. And that will be explained to you once you get your Tennessee license. You'll basically have to get 60 professional development points in order to renew the credential in six years. So that's hopefully going to be my goal. But let me quickly now take you to the steps that I had to do to get this Tennessee license. So one of the first things I had to do was fill out my out-of-state educator assessment waiver for practitioner first issuance license renewal or advancement. Whew, that was a, a mouthful. So let me go ahead and show you what this was, but it was really easy once I figured out who I was supposed to get the signature from. So there was only a few things to fill out. My name, first name, last name, my California te teaching license number. And then I was confused who my director of schools recommendation uh, person was. So I just needed to get that signature. It ended up being the assistant superintendent of our district. And so he was so wonderful about this because I was real nervous, as anyone else would be, um, about getting something like this signed, because I'm afraid the superintendent's gonna be like, hey, whoa, what's going on here? Are you bailing um, you know, on us here? Are you jumping ship? And so it was. it's a good thing we had a good relationship, and it was one of those things where I just said, this is a path that I am considering. I'm just, it's kind of a, I don't know what I call it, a backup plan. It's something I'm venturing here. And he was real understanding saying, hey, when you get some information, let me know about it. And so I was like, yes, absolutely. So all I needed was for him to fill this out, sign it. What's really cool is he gave me a digital version and a like hard copy. And so that's one of the things that the Tennessee um, Office of Education wanted. They wanted this sent to them. So that's number one. And this is on the T, TN Compass website also. So 
if you let me watch me scroll down here so you're also going to need to obviously provide proof of your credential from the state that you're coming from so in the attachments here that is what i sent and i believe i did not send them a hard copy of this i believe i just sent them my license number and they were able to look up then and see that i had a california teaching license there is the um don't make me say the whole thing again the out of state assessment waiver we'll just call it that and then the last thing i had to do was just send in um, my official transcripts from the higher institutions that i went to so i've gone to two universities to get my teaching license so there are my proof of transcripts right there and that was it now the biggest thing that you're going to have to just be patient on is the waiting on this obviously you can see that i um, sent this in or i basically got everything turned in on october 13th and i finally got the email saying congratulations you have your tennessee teaching license on december 27th so there's obviously some backlog and some you know waiting that you're going to have to do but if you're patient and on their website you can actually track and see how long you know you might possibly have to wait because they actually when you submit for your teaching license they will give you updates like it's under review and so what you have to do is check every now and then to see where they are it's actually called the um let me make sure i get this right it is the state of tennessee educator licensure information and once you click on that and that's going to be under resources what you're going to do is you will click on now processing and you, you can see here that out-of-state licensure applications received the week of October 4th. So I actually got my license way before they got to my, you know, application receive date, which was October 13th, which is fine by me. I'd rather get it earlier than later. But you can continue to check that just to see where they are in the processing. Uh, but again, be patient because... This could take, you know, a while. So right now it's January 4th. So if you are looking to get your teaching license from Tennessee for the 2022-23 school year, I would suggest that you get this in now because the waiting, you know, if you can do the math, it took me about two, two and a half months to get it. You just definitely want to have peace of mind knowing that you have it, um, before the school year would be up. So that way when schools are looking to hire people in the spring, you can already say, I already have my teaching license. Okay guys, so I know that I made that seem incredibly simple, which for me, it really wasn't. There was a lot of things I had to, oh, figure out and readjust this, but ultimately there wasn't a whole lot I had to do. And I actually thought, oh good, I didn't have to take any kind of test. For those of you that might be in a specialized area, you might have to take a test to get uh, what they call it as an endorsement. An endorsement just means what are you qualified to teach? So you might have to take a test to get an endorsement for math or science or language arts or whatever your field of subject is. But hopefully that helps. And the good news is, now I'm ready so that if a school does contact me or if I contact another school and, you know, we can start get the ball rolling, I can say, yes, I have my Tennessee teaching license. So hopefully that helped. Um, if you guys ha have any questions, you can throw them down in the comment section. I will do my best to answer it. But now that's just one step closer to moving to Tennessee and hopefully having a teaching job ready for me because I have my license. Okay, guys, I am Mitch again from We in Tennessee. I'll see you in my next video.